Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Gospel with Ishmael. Hallelujah. I welcome you all. If you're watching for the first time, you are welcome into this channel. Feel free to subscribe if you'll be interested in more videos like this. Because in today's video, oh, and also if you subscribe, when you subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell on your right so you know every time I upload new videos like this. Because some people, they do forget, okay? So, but uh, also what I want to talk about in today's, as you saw by the titling, is like, look at this. This is the beginning of uh, the year. This is January. Hallelujah. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm here today. I felt this message that I should share with you. And this is a message that I strongly have something to share with you about, okay? And I also want to declare and declare, hallelujah, that whatever has been a trouble in your life, it's not coming back again, hallelujah. I want to pray with somebody. I want to declare into somebody's life that whatever troubles have been in your life, they are not coming back again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just like the book of Nahum chapter 1 verse 9 that says, Affliction will not come a second time. Praise the Lord. And I'm telling somebody today that affliction will not come a second time. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. They might have come in your life before. They might have conquered you before. You might have received some attacks. Do not fear whatever you've been fearing from in the past. The fears of last year, tell, let me tell you, even when they come, even if they come again, this time they will find you ready. They are finding you ready in the name of Jesus Christ because the Lord God Almighty, He is strengthening you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you that there is new fire falling upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a saying that nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Let me tell you that even that thing that's been tormenting you, even that thing that's been against you, whether it's good or bad, they say nothing lasts forever. So let me tell you something. Now, since you, you've experienced some bad things, it, since there are some bad things that you have experienced, let me tell you, you have the right now to claim that nothing lasts forever, meaning whatever bad thing that has been tormenting you, it is also coming to an end. Now you are jumping, you are shifting into experiencing good things. Hallelujah. And I pray that Father God help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Spirit of the Lord fall great upon you. May the mighty hand of the Lord touch you Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I break, I lose every form of curse that has been placed upon you in Jesus' mighty name. I rebuke, I nullify everything that was hindering the power of the Lord God Almighty from working, from functioning into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is upon you. The power of God is moving greatly upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are having a fresh start in the name of Jesus Christ. You are being filled with new fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I once shared this testimony. I was like, at some point, I remember when I faced, a tr faced trouble when I was in school. And then I was scared the following year that I'm going to experience the very same thing. But then I remember when I was talking with uh, my lecturer at that moment, I went into an office. Then I saw a scripture on the world. That's how I knew this scripture I shared with you today. It was in Naham chapter 1 verse 9. I looked at the scripture, I read it, and it was saying, trouble will not come a second time. Naham chapter 1 verse 9 according to NIV version. And the Lord just spoke to me through that scripture. And it entered my heart. And I was like, you know what? Trouble will not come a second time. And let me tell you, this scripture had never failed me before. Hallelujah. Let me tell you that trouble will not come a second time upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May they find you ready. One person, you can go into battle. You can fight and they conquer you. 
But let me tell you, if you can prepare, you can train, the enemy can come the second time around. But if the enemy finds you ready, let me tell you, you will be more powerful than the enemy. And I'm telling somebody today that the Lord is empowering you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is filling you with fresh fire from above to conquer your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some people this January are in fasting. They are busy fasting. They are praying. Let me tell you, those fastings and prayers, to some people, it's a preparation for the entire year. It's like they are gymming, they are training, so that whatever thing comes, it will find them to be stronger so that they can conquer. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, there are some of you that God Almighty has already put no fire. All those prayers you've been making, all the things you've been doing in the past, you might feel like you've been wasting time. Let me tell you, today, if you go to the gym and you train in gym, tomorrow you won't wake up being stronger and being able to lift heavy stuff and all. No, 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 no. But you, it will have to take persistence. You'll have to go for more days. You have to keep on lifting. Before you know it, one day you'll just be surprised. Now you can even lift heavy objects. Now you can even conquer your enemies. Hallelujah. Now you can even do this because you gave yourself time. Let me tell you all the prayers you've been making. All the positive dreams, the conquering in the dreams you've been having. They were as a symbol, sign that the Lord is giving you victory. And this time around, let me tell you, you shall begin to see the manifestation. You shall begin to realize that in my dreams, I used to have dreams where I will be conquered. I used to have dreams where somebody will be chasing me and they will catch me. I used to have dreams where I will be eating things. But this time around, in your dreams, you shall overtake your enemies. In your dreams, they will not catch you. In your dreams, in every battle, you will be conquering, even in the physical. Everything that had kept on repeating your entire life, you'll be like, every time I do this, every time I try this, I know how it always ends. I always get disappointed. It always turns bad. Some people, they'll be like, everything I touch, you know, it, 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 it turns into mess. But let me tell you, this time around, the Lord is anointing your hands. Whatever you touch is turning into gold. Let me tell you, it will not happen a second time. They are not coming back a second time. Every witch who that had disrespected you, that had disrespected your family, that had started disrespecting everything that belongs to you, this time around, that witch, that demon, when they come, they will find you filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost. They will find you full of the fire of God. In Jesus' mighty name, catch the fire of the Holy Spirit. Conquer all your enemies from today onwards in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak prosperity and success upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Receive this prayer. Hallelujah. And yes, of course, that's all I had for you in today's episode of the Gospel of Ishmael. And for my details, check the description of the video below. And as for me, I will see you next time. Stay blessed.